Hello and welcome back everyone to Heart of the Swarm campaign in StarCraft II, a Rocket Rabbit Commentaries. And in this episode, we'll be continuing on with the last of the, of the uh, Skyger uh, station missions as as Narud and Kerrigan are having their Dragon Ball Z struggle. We're attempting to spread out uh, spread out creep to the areas that we need to get to. And uh, also attempting to uh, birth some queens so that we can, you know, have the things that we need. Which Narud is using to store raw psionic energy. Now, much like StarCraft 1, Ultralisks are still very expensive. They're less expensive now, thankfully. They're now 400, 200 instead of 400, 300 that they used to be. So, and I think they're 4 supply instead of 6. Evolution Chamber. Evolution Chamber. Uh, it's so hard for me to hear the word evolution now during this playthrough and not think of Abathur's dry, dry monotone delivery of, uh, well, his rather peculiar way of speaking, let's say. Mm, all right, we did a jump cut here specifically because we needed to jump, uh, we needed to spawn some zerglings in order to go and take some of the bonus objectives. It's, uh, yeah, it it was mostly for time constraints. Because you know, I want I wanted to actually get these I wanted to actually keep these parts under twenty minutes and attempt to have each of these missions only take one part until we actually get into uh, until we actually get into the end game. Now, thankfully, this uh, this mission only takes mostly one part, so there's that. Uh, taking down each of the void crystals is is a good idea, although I don't think that uh, Narut actually uses the Void Crystals as uh, as reinforcements. The real reason to spawn these Zerglings, however, is more or less as base defenders, because he's going to uh, be throwing uh, Zealots at us pretty consistently throughout uh, throughout the uh, throughout the mission. And the hybrid, the, Our too. actual force is going to be, uh, is going to be a, shitlo a shitload of Hydralisks with, uh, uh, with Dukov as support. No, but we are not currently in disarray, Mr. Narud. We have we have hydralisks and we have some zerglings and we have the ability to say no to you and all of your shit. <laughs> I'm going to say no to you and I'll give you my reasons. One is because you suck. Second of all, is that every time I get one of these temples it resets your little bar right there and gives me more time. Yeah. Unfortunately, we lost our, our we lost our queen there. But it's okay. Uh, one, uh, once we have uh, enough uh, hydralisks, we can just carry this single uh, wave of hydralisks throughout uh, throughout these uh, uh, these uh, temples. And corrosive blast and infested marines. Yay. You see, the reason why you can't mass ultralisks during this mission is strictly because the Protoss, uh, the uh, Protoss reinforcements here have a tendency to come in with a combination of of uh, ground and air units, and ultralisks can't shoot up. So, mm, no, they have cannot. to do what you can in order to mitigate aerial threats. Stukov can take down scouts on his own, but it eats up corrosive uh, corrosive blasts and uh, infested marines, so it can be a bit of it can be a bit of a hassle attempting to. Uh, uh, attempting to decide which is the which is the uh, more viable threat between the hybrid and the scouts. The second temple has fallen. Squirm all you like. You will not escape your fate. Unfortunately, our forces looming, here yes. decided to approach this area going two different ways. That happens a lot for me. <sighs> I hear you. So what's new in the world of Cloud as we attempt to secure this other bonus objective? Well, not much new going on these days. <laughs> well, your master is stupid and, and you know and wants to do a terrible thing. So we're so we're doing or so we're killing his artifacts anyway. Also, they have a void ray. All right. So with two temples down, we're de nice. we're decently far into this mission now. Just got to actually work on our creep spread a bit more to make sure that our reinforcements can get to the points where they need to be at. Bink. Creep them. 
Yeah. Glorious creep. Creep, glorious creep. Spread it all across the map. Yeah, to be perfectly honest, I really wish we got to use Stukov in other in other missions. This is the only one that we get to use him in, and his regenerative uh, the regenerative of uh, aura that he's got on is such a huge godsend that it that it makes me uh, want to consider actually doing this mission legit with Ultralisks, But uh, then I don't have air then I don't have answer to air units, so I can't do it that way. Mutate. No, mutate into hydralisks. Mutate only as a sorcery. Oh! Damn it, Our they killed the ultralisks. Died. Still, it would be weird if they found even more inventive ways to remove Kerrigan from the level by narrative reasons. I mean, this is a pretty cool one, because of course only Kerrigan could match the powers of Narud right here. And that's why the bar is most important. But then who would be actually fun to play as when we're not playing as her. Hmm. Well, let's no, give well us we do have multiple different uh, different heroes that we have access to. We've got Dahaka, we've got Zagara. Technic uh, uh, given what they did with Hots, we could have actually played with Abathur. No, Abathur doesn't fight, though. He just he, he just picks on corpses. Or does he? You need something? No, seriously, the hot the hot rendition of uh no the Heroes of the Storm rendition of Avatar is actually really goddamn cool. Huh. Yep, way over there. The hybrids are coming. What what when are the hybrids coming? <laughs> no, uh, shortly, you know. There's the one that's coming up uh, uh from the north and then there's the one that's coming there's the attack force that's coming from the uh from the east. Well, we are technically supposed to have an Ultralisk right now, because, of course, we would take greater care than to just let it die. Yeah, that guy, that was a piece of cake. Yeah. Mr. X repelled. Mm, except in this game, we don't actually get bonuses for uh, and taking And here comes the second X. one. Yep. And ah, plus two range attack, and he has been, and he has been shredded. All uh -huh. right. I guess We've gotten all three of the bonus objectives. From here, we just got to escort Stukov to the remaining two temp, uh, mm -hmm. to the remaining two temples. He activated a third temple. Two temples remain. He's growing weaker. Keep fighting. Nah, we he can still has that, most Scarry. of the bar to himself. No. 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 <laughs> uh, excuse us. Pardon us. Yep. Just don't mind us. Coming through. Seriously, though, like, some new players would think, like, I probably shouldn't be walking underneath that. Uh, to be fair, you probably shouldn't. It's not, uh, mostly because it's really difficult to get creep o uh, over in, on this part of the map. But, if you manage to get creep over on this part of the map, then yeah, sure, just go for it. I am Drake, Master of the Dragons. Mm. Our dragons are you know, very, very if ugly. If Stukov had a mustache, well, he does have a mustache. If Stukov had a better mustache, then sure, he could totally be Drake from Gen Three. But Dr uh, Drake, uh, Drake's only dragon. No, does he get both Flygon and Salamance? I know he gets Salamance. He does. I don't he think does he gets get anyone else. Though. Um. Ah, oh, fuck! I feel like I should know this. I think he's got two Flygons. Mm. Morphing hydralisks or mutalisks will allow us to destroy the enemy's flyers. Or using Stukov's cro uh, corrosive blast. Flyers! She called them flyers! <laughs> she did indeed call them flyers. Brothers, guard the temple with your lives! Get rid of this Protoss now. The hybrids are underway. The Mr. X characters have regenerated. Mm. <sighs> Come on. Trying to spawn in some some hydralisks at home in order to defend our base because our because our raptors were not enough. Mm. Uh, yeah, as oh damn it, our our plus three uh, uh, range attack got canceled. <sighs> mm, there we go, though. Our hy our hydralisks have uh, have taken short have made short work of the enemy uh, sure, no, uh, of the enemy at our base.
do you... Please, if you need something, come back in five minutes. I'm trying to concentrate. No. I and with this, Dukov has officially captured the fourth uh, temple. Oh, yep. Son, the fourth temple is down. One left. This is not possible. I can feel your strength leaving you. Means Narud's got a bit of a problem on his hands. Mm, he does, and that problem is a Stukov shaped one. <laughs> there is no need for formality. Speak freely. See, all that he can do now is issue commands. He doesn't have a zombie infested buddy with a Russian accent helping him out, oh no. <laughs> yeah. There's the final temple. I mean, the, the plan was to actually have Stukov uh, uh, help out Narud for this mission, but you know. We, uh, we rescued Stukov, we, uh, responded to Stukov's, uh, call, so that wasn't the thing that he was allowed to do. By many, they mean two. Which is a good, which is a decent deal of hybrids, sure, but it's not really, you know, a, it's not really a, a thing that we really need to worry about that much. The big problem here is the, the Colossus and the fact that I'm not splitting my, uh, Hydralisks appropriately. Oh, oh boy. Okay, now we got them. All right, one at a time, gentlemen. Yep. Twenty-four seconds remain. Please, I'm trying to concentrate. All right, we got one hybrid down. Oh, sorry, it's three hybrid here. Um, Two hybrid down. Um, ten seconds. Seven, six, <laughs> five, four. Hold on, Alexi. He's gonna start taking damage. Yep. Jesus but he's. Christ. But that's the end. Yes. Alexi Stukov. And we your even kept Stukov alive. <laughs> wow. And Alexi actually didn't die. Get knocked on your back, son. Mm, yep. Dead. Now, are you ready for the best combat cutscene that we have ever had in StarCraft? He became one with the Force? No, he did not become one with the Force. He retreated into the temple. Even so, he's the most powerful being I've ever faced. Um, I'm not entirely sure how accurate that is. I mean, she did technically face Zeratul this campaign. All right. <laughs> this is honestly a really kick-ass cutscene. I will probably shut up for a good portion of it, which I'm not supposed to do, but... Don't worry, I'll talk over it. Face me, it's over. It is only beginning. Yep, he became one with the Force. He did not become one with the Force, he just retreated into the temple. From the stars. He told you of his return. I'm gonna sneak up on you. Dead. And he's never coming back. Is that what you think? <gasps> yep. Fuck you, Narude. No. Narud is dead. Glowy evil eyes. Evil eyes. Dun 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 dun. Mm, meaning that I can rip you with a fucking half, bitch. Because Jim wouldn't give in to the dark side. Well, Jim, Jim, Jim doesn't have guy. the powers. Is the big is the bigger thing. I really wish that we got access to Nidus Worms throughout the campaign, but we don't. Explodify the Nidus Worm. You are not Jim. You are nothing. I'm everything you lost. Well, see. Oh. 
Yeah, see, we, people people have tried that before. It didn't it didn't work because she could just come back. I can stop Ow. back, and I bet it will hurt. <laughs> Old man, just shut up and die. <laughs> now, canonically, Nerud survives this. I mean, this vessel for Nerud does not survive this, but uh, yeah, Nerud totally survives this. Well, it shows that Kerrigan is still vulnerable through the feeling parts. Yup. Meaning that she hasn't given up all of her humanity. There, Phantoms of the Void is complete. Don't let Stukov die. Yeah, you did that by the fucking skin of your teeth. Yep, yep. Holy shit. No, we didn't actually kill all of the uh, Protoss structures, but that's okay. I mean, in order to do that, I would have actually needed to max out on Ultralisks, and I didn't want to do that. Hydras are better. <laughs> Ultralisks. My queen, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Isha. I am alive. Barely. We dragged you back to the Leviathan. Rest now. I will control the swarm until you are healed. Oh? Why aren't you trying to take the swarm for my own? Because I still have much to learn from you, my queen. Aww. Enough. She is healing, but she must rest now. The girls are getting along, Mr. Cloud. Yeah. It's like, I think you are cool. Mm. Alright. And there we go. That is Kerrigan at maximum level. Yay. No, she gains additional three hit points of damage. Woohoo! Bling. Oh, no more evolution missions. In strands. All right. So, well, actually, there is one, one more uh, evolution mission, but we don't get access to it quite yet. Uh, yes, I do believe we're going to be taking the Monarch Blades because they have a, a small healing effect uh, uh, with the uh, additional cleave. Is it? Is it the he No, no, no. It's tissue assimilation that's got the heal on it. Monarch Blades is just additional damage. Oh, now it's got yeah, healing. Yeah, so it's tissue assimilation Jesus that we'll Christ. Be Evil. Well, you know, adaptation of survival. You know, it's not really <laughs> evil. It's na it's nature it's nature bettering itself. All right. In the next episode, we begin the assault on Core Hall. Be safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and remember that narrative dissonance should have Kerrigan back in the pool where she belongs. <laughs>